host, the Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all all having a great week. I'm having a better week now. I'll tell you why in just a moment. But if you're new to this channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you so, so much for watching my video and welcome. And if you're returning, uh, you already know I love you guys. So, um, let us get started with the haul today. So, I don't have as big of a haul this week, and I'll tell you guys why. I, my phone has been broken since Saturday, and uh, I could use my watch. So, I could answer calls, and I could see some text messages, but I couldn't search anything. I couldn't use my phone to check comps. So, I bought all of this stuff just, like just hoping that it was going to be worse what I thought it was going to be worse. So I left a lot of stuff there that probably was worse something, but I was afraid to get that stuff uh, without checking comps. Because if you are new, I only have 880 square feet. We uh, downsized uh, two years ago and bought a lot of land, but a small put a small house on it. So, um... That being that, I don't have a ton of space for extra stuff that is not for sale in one of my stores. Okay. So anyway, I still have quite a bit of stuff, just not as much as the last two weeks. Uh, if you're interested in any of these items that I'm selling, you can join my Facebook group. I will leave it in the description box below. It is a closed group. You will have to ask to join. I'll approve you, and then you may ask about an item. Please, when you ask about an item, tell me what state you live in so that I can figure shipping and give you tell you what it's going to be with shipping. And then the first person to uh, send me their email so I can send them a PayPal invoice will get that item. As per usual, a dog is scratching at the door. So, hold on just a minute. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, would it really be one of my videos if it, we didn't have animal interruptions happening? Like, I, I don't even know what would happen. Okay. If you're not a Facebooker, you can join, uh, you can uh, email me. I will also leave that in the description box below. All right, let's get started. The first thing that I am super duper duper excited about, uh, I got from the bins. Most of the stuff I got from the bins. If I didn't, I'll tell you what I paid for it. Um, it is a Nespresso machine. So I got this at the bins. I probably, this is probably about a five or six pounds. So I probably paid two, three dollars for this. Uh, at mine, it is 39 cents for a pound for electronics. So I got this. Um, as you can see, the only thing it's missing so here's the water reservoir. The only thing that's missing is the little place where the pods pop out and go into like a little trash can. And um, so I don't need that anyway. So no big deal. So I turned this on. I didn't even plug it in at the Goodwill because I figured that I could at least sell it maybe for like parts or something. Turns out not really. However, it turns on, it heats up, but it doesn't push anything out. So I actually called the helpline and explained my situation. They asked me for the serial number to get it registered, yada, yada, yada. It hadn't been registered by anyone else. So they uh, are going to send me a box, and I'm going to send it in, and they're actually going to fix it. So I will have a working Nespresso Virtuo line, vir Virtuo line for $3. Yes, thank you. Although I am cheap, I, I'm not cheap, I'm thrifty, so I'll probably buy some Nespresso pods just to try it out like a couple of times, but they are like a dollar a piece, okay? <laughs> can you guys hear? Come here, Captain. Come here, baby. Come here. Can, um, so uh, they make a, hold on, he's growling at me to get my attention, but then he's running away. Um. They make a little metal um, pod that you can refill. So we will more than likely do that. But I'll probably, God, he smells like death. I will probably um, uh, try it just when I get it back. They said it'll take two to three weeks. No big deal because, I mean, I didn't expect to have an, an espresso machine in the first place. So super stoked about that. All right, let's see what else we have, Cappy. 
Let's see what else we have, Mr. Captain. Okay, I got this to hang on my wall. I think in my kitchen over my sink. It's just a, uh, again, I got this at the bins. It's just a little braided um, basket. And it actually matches our rugs that we have in here. They've got yellow, hot pink, turquoise in them. So I think that'll be nice to pull that color kind of into the kitchen area. And all of this. I'll let you know when I get to the stuff I paid for, like, other than Ben's stuff. This is a L-O-G-G -G label of graded goods. I can't remember if that's a Target or, um, or if it is, like, a, uh, Anthropology brand. I know there's a big swing in price there versus Target. Actually, not that much, you guys. If you have been to Target lately, those folks think that their stuff is really, really good. I was gonna get a pair of joggers. They were, like... $35 for a pair of joggers from Target? Like, no thank you. I went to Walmart and I actually had to order them, but I paid 15 bucks and I love them and I got three pairs. So, thank you, Target. No thank you. Anyway, label of graded goods. Y'all let me know. I'll look it up. But anyway, again, I couldn't check comps. This is for me anyway. It's just a little chambray shirt. This is for, I got my daughter a bunch of stuff, which is great because she grows so fast. This is a t-shirt. It's a Naruto. I don't even know his last name. It's a, it's a, uh, Naruto Uzumaki. Is that how you say that, Hart? What? How do you say Naruto's last name? Uzumaki? Uzu, yeah. Uzumaki? Yeah. Anyway, it's a, uh, uh, anime cartoon that she and her dad love, so she was stoked about that. These are a pair of jeans for her. Uh, actually, they're shorts. They're kind of long. They're kind of like Bermuda shorts, but I thought we could cut them off. She's got really long legs anyway, so they may not be that bad, or we can cuff them. But anyway, they're children's place, which I really like because they have the adjustable bands in here, which she definitely needs because she is... So I'm 5'2", and she is a little bit taller than me. She is not 12 yet, and she is teeny weeny. She also plays volleyball. Again, I tell you guys these things if you are, I know that y'all probably get sick of hearing this information if you have watched my videos for a long time, but I try to have some like reference because you know when you start watching a new YouTuber and they're talking about stuff and you're like, I have no idea what they're talking about. So anyway, my daughter also plays volleyball. These are a pair of little dry fit Nikes. They do have some kind of like dirt on them, but I think that I can oxy them and get that out plus she wears her shirt she doesn't wear like short shorts short, short shirts because when she pops up to do like the volley you can see her tummy so anyway i think those will be good for volleyball practice and i also got her this this is a wild fable i think for sure this is a target brand or was a target brand and it's just a cute little blouse like a little um camouflage I'll button down got this I haven't checked comps on it yet I'm gonna see if my husband wants it if he doesn't I'm going to sell it if it if it's even worth anything it is an Izod uh, large pullover it's blue with orange guys if you even if you're not a reseller if you have a um, bins by you Go check it out because you're saving this stuff. If it doesn't get sold, it goes to the landfill. And, I mean, look at all the clothes that we're getting. They're not in bad condition. Like, they're nice. And they were pennies. Pennies. I got this. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. I have a vision in my head of what I think it's going to look like on me, but I'm not sure because it's actually an extra, a 1X. But it was new with tag. It's just a little peasant top. For summer I thought I could do a little French tuck with it but I don't know if it's gonna be too big I'll have to try it on if not I'll sell it in the garage sale because I don't think it's a high-end brand at Mom, all yes where's the computer plug? I don't know you look at my bedroom just try and check my bedroom I did. okay well I don't know and I'm filming a video okay got Hartley these my daughter they're wild fable again they're double zeros I need to have her try them on and see if she can fit them. They looked like they would fit, um, but I'm not sure. So.
It would be nice if they did because adult jeans are long. They're 30 inch inseam. That's what she needs right now. She might even need a, lo a long. But I have to get her like special like 14. Right now she's in like a 14. But they have to be like 14 longs. There's only like two kids places that I can find that make those. Anyway, it'd be easier if she could go ahead and transition to some adult sizes. Okay, this is a... Somebody has the perfume. This is a little Chico's button-up. Just cute. It's a size one. I think it'll fit me. It's definitely not in here, baby. Oh, but I do you see... That's... No, that's not it. Okay. Uh, this I got for my husband. I don't... Again, if it doesn't fit, I'll sell it in the garage sale. But it was a slim fit Goodfellow, which he does have some of these. This is a Wal uh, Target brand as well. It's just a button up, button down, whatever you want to call them. And we don't try any of this stuff on until we wash it and then we try it on. And then if it doesn't fit, we donate it. Okay. Uh, more volleyball shorts, extra smalls for my daughter. Most of her tournaments, most of the teams she's on, when they have tournaments, they have to wear black volleyball. She's on three, well, She's on two different teams. One of them we're not going to do again. We try to keep her in volleyball year-round, so we will join different teams depending on when their season is so that she can play volleyball year-round. Okay, uh, this is Fit to Live Jump Rope. It also has an app. I got it because it has an app that goes with it. And I checked the comps after I bought it because, again, I didn't, I couldn't check anything. And um, a two seventy five. dollars They go for about $10, but uh, so not great. But it was there. It's got an app. Y'all, I'm just not, I started keto in July. I've lost 15 pounds, which is awesome, but I still have, I would still like to lose about 10 more at least, 10 to 15. And I am just not motivated to work out at all. Like at all. It's just not, there's no motivation. So I'm hoping maybe I can jump rope for a little while. I've been stretching and doing a little bit of yoga and stuff, but like, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's because it's winter and it's cold and dreary or what, but I've not, I've not been feeling it. Okay, these I did purchase for $320. They are some little Nikes. If you've watched me for a while, y'all know that in the summertime, especially if I'm hanging out around the house, um, these are like what I like to wear with a t-shirt. So got this i did pay for this as well 875 kind of paid up for this but it is for my daughter she is a kavu sling and it's fuzzy so uh she has a kavu sling like this that she loves it's houndstooth but it's just regular canvas so when i saw this i was like oh yeah she's totally gonna want that and it's big enough when we go hiking that she can carry her own water bottle and stuff. Okay, uh, second to last thing I've got for myself is this Shooter's Bible. This came from the bins. It was 49 cents. And it is the Bicentennial Edition of the Shooter's Bible. I just thought it was cool. So, like, I just bought it for my husband because I thought he might get a kick out of looking at it. It's got a lot of pictures of different guns and stuff. I don't know. I just thought for 49 cents it looked kind of fun. And they actually... Two sold on eBay for like 10 bucks, and then two other people have them listed for like 60 bucks. But they haven't sold, so I don't know. If he doesn't want it, I don't know. I'll stick it up on eBay. Okay, the last thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, y'all. I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I hope that it turns out the way that the inside, it, I see it in my head. Okay, just reserve your judgment. Reserve your judgment. Okay. I bought this. It's like a little sh hanging shadow box. Okay. I am going to paint it and possibly not put, I don't know, not put the glass back in. Let's investigate. So, while I tell you what I'm going to do with it. So, we go crystal digging. Crystal digging for quartz crystals. Okay. And we love it. And we also love other crystals. I mean, if you can see Amethyst. Got some other ones here. That's Rainbow Cal Calcite. Don't remember what that one is. 
Um, we've got crystals and stuff like that all around our house, okay? And I wanted a place to display a lot of them all together. Look how cute. Woo! Here are these glasses. I just smushed the dog that's in my lap. It'll be all right. Okay, so I want to do that. But do I want to leave it open? It's also got some things that I can move around. Yeah. So, this is also going to be a real pain in the butt to uh, paint. <laughs> Unless I spray paint it. But anyway, I think it looks better without the glass in it. And... I might be able to have my husband saw off this lip that the glass goes in. Whoops. So, just saw that off. I actually like it a lot better without the glass. And so, I'm going to paint it. It was $10. I've been looking for something like this for a while. You can find them on Etsy, but they're not $10, okay? So, even with the cost of... Um, even with the cost of the paint and the work to put into it, I still think I will come out ahead. And, and probably most definitely, yeah, it's not even wanting to go back in. Glass, okay. So anyway, if you want to see an after on that, let me know. I mean, who knows where, when I'm going to do it. It might be six months before I even get it done, but that's the plan. Okay. All this stuff... Again, I got blindly, and I did really well, y'all. I did really well. Firstly, I got all this stuff from the bins, except for two things at the end. Okay, so the first thing is this 5950 fitted ball cap. It is a uh, Red Sox cap. In pretty good condition. It's got some pilling. And I need to take a, uh, it's not dirty on the inside at all. I need to take a rag to it and shave off some of this pilling. And I checked comps and a used one just like this, same size and everything, sold for $25 last month. And then they had some other ones that just had the bees on them that actually sold for less. So the Red Sox one I think is better. So maybe I can get like 20 bucks for this. And again, I paid pennies. I didn't check the comps on these. So I'm not sure, but, um, and they are like, they are like jeggings. So I know that that's going to cut down on who's going to want them because apparently skinny jeans are not in anymore. I still wear them. We've talked about this, but anyway, these are a pair of newest tag. I mean, anytime I find something new with tag, if I think it is, can sell at all, I will get it. So these are newest tag express jeans, leggings, mid rise. They are six. They're one size too big for me. I mean, one size too small for me. Hopefully, I'll be in a six if I can lose that 10 pounds. But um, I wear an eight right now. So, got those. I got this. And it comes on and the light blinks. It actually still has an S, um, SD in it. No, this is an adapter. What is this? Oh, yeah. It's got a micro SD adapter in it. Uh, so, it came with that. It is a... I guess I should tell you guys what it is. It's a Polaroid. No, oh, no, no, it's not. It's a Kodak personal photo scanner P570. A bunch of these have sold online, but most of them have the box with them. So I don't know. I saw 20, I saw 30, I saw 40. So if I put it online for 15, you know, I mean, again, 39 cents a pound. This is not even a pound. I, didn't even, I probably paid a quarter for this. Okay, these I was pretty excited about because I felt like they would be worth something. I need to check them over again and make sure there's no damage, but I was in a hurry. Um, these are Liberty overalls, okay? So they're like work overalls. And I'm just going to show you the front. As far as I can tell, they're in great condition. And they are reselling for upwards of... 40 50 60 dollars on ebay so super excited about those because again i took a chance i didn't know um i got these tevas in the bins they are men's i think or they're big they're 10 what size are they they're size 10 so they could either be a men's 8 or a woman's 10 
Um, as you can see, this one is kind of bent up. This one is a little bit, but not as badly. But they're in pretty good condition. I am noticing now that there are some, uh, there's some damage on this one. See, this is where I just, I looked at one of them and then I grabbed the other one. There's damage on this one. So probably those are going to go in the ever-growing <laughs> garage sale pile. Oh, well. But this next thing, this next thing, y'all. Fjall Raven backpack. What? At the bins. These are selling easily used for $30 online. Maybe even higher, depending on the day. There is some schmutz on it. I feel like I can get that off. I do think it's real. I checked everything I got online. I checked what, I, what the other ones look like, how they're made, quality. It feels like high quality. Even the little, um, little snaps have got the right, like, in, in imprints on them. Um, I don't know why these are so popular, but they are. I don't know if they're heavy duty. I don't know what the actual deal is with them, but I know they're very popular. And this says, in 1978, we launched Kanken to prevent back problems among Swedish school children. Many of the early Kankens are still in use today. So, I was super excited about this because it's got very little wear. Like, very little. Okay, that was it for my bins purchases. Uh, and then I got two things at the thrift store where I got her Kavu and stuff. And they, they have kind of, some of their prices are higher on stuff. But anyway, I got this for $4. It is a Disney Parks branded Sherpa Zip. In excellent condition. You've got the little Magic Kingdom there. The uh, castle. Again, in excellent condition. It says Walt Disney World on the sleeve. And Disney park stuff usually does pretty well. Um, I actually found a cap yesterday that had this, just the little castle on it at the um, bins. But I don't have one of those hat washers. I need to just order one off of Amazon. And I didn't want it to sit around waiting on me to wash it. And I couldn't check the comps, so I just didn't get it. But I probably should have. There was also like a um, vintage coveralls, new like new old stock, so it had like all the tags and stuff on it, and it was still like folded up on the cardboard like thing, and it was like a um, what was the brand? I don't think I'm gonna be able to remember the brand, but it was like that like the one piece mechanic jumpsuit type of thing, or like you know welder jumpsuit, and uh, I feel like it was probably worth probably worth something, but. Again, I couldn't check comps, and I didn't want to overbuy. Okay, this is the last thing. It is dirty. It needs to be washed. Uh, but it is. It was six sixty. It is. The only thing is, it's an extra small. So if it doesn't sell, I'll probably just give it to my daughter. It is a the North Face zip up like rain jacket, but like heavier than just a regular, like a waterproof jacket, I should say. Here is your hood, rolls back up in here, and it's zips, and it's not as bright as it's coming off on camera, but I thought for 660, even if my daughter ends up using it, it was a win. All right, you guys, that was my haul. I will not be uh, doing a video next Thursday because I will be in Oklahoma for a thrift trip. Um, I am going to visit some family, but also, and, 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 yeah, also going thrifting, um, and going to an outlet in Oklahoma that a, uh, a, um, seasoned reseller is going to show me. And I know she watched my last video, so hopefully she'll see this video. And, uh, if so, thank you for showing me all that stuff. Thanks in advance. Um, what else? So, no video next Thursday, but I hope to have a gang of stuff for the next Thursday to show you guys. Uh, anything else do I need to say? I hope you all stay safe. 
and leave me a puppy dog emoji. It doesn't have to be a black puppy dog, but just a just a dog emoji if you made it this far. All right, you guys. Until next time. Tell him, Captain. Y'all keep it thrifty. Bye.